Did you know that in the state of New Jersey, it is by law required that a real estate agent must tell you if a house is haunted or not before they close a sale with someone? Yep, it's a fact. Mm hmm. Why the hell is this all black and white? Oh, I really need to update my shit. Alright, enough of minor insights, let's get to the story time. Alright, the gates of hell is a tunnel located in Clifton, New Jersey, which is really weird because it has corridors and it's built, um, it's, it's, it's the only one built differently in all the state. So, um, a lot of teenagers like to like explore it and like try to get through the whole tunnel, it leads from one town to another. And you basically can't explore it. Local legend says that the devil is at the end of this tunnel. Uh, there are seven corridors and you must, or seven levels, and you get through all seven levels, and there's a big rock that is shaped like an axe, and that that blocks the portal into hell. Oh, and also along the way, that um, the gates of hell is guarded by the monster known as Red Eye Mike, just as you heard in the previous story. Um, and if you are able to move this axe, this big boulder that is shaped like an axe, it'll lead you into the portal that leads to hell, and the, the devil himself will come out and grant you a wish, any wish that you want. That's the story. I don't know if it's true. But, a friend of ours did go there, and something disturbing did happen. I had a friend, and we dubbed him G.I. Joe because he was very strong, fearless, like to like take names, whip ass, no talking, let's just, you know, get straight to it. He one day decided to test the local lore, he wanted to go down there, so he went down there with two friends. Now, none of us know what truly happened, but the next day after he went there, I saw him and he looked highly disturbed as if something had really bugged him or like some, some traumatizing shit had just gone down and, and he was bothered by it. Um, so, I asked him and he just would not speak about it. He, like, his eyes were shot and it looked like he hadn't slept in God knows how long. And he was truly, something fucked him over pretty good. I asked one of his friends and I told him what happened to him and he said it was what happened in their trip down there. And this is what he told me. He said that after a half hour of walking through, they felt that they had made it through seven corridors, or I mean seven levels, or, or they made it to a certain point that they say, right, and, and they made it into like this section that was like blocked off, right, at the end, they came, they came to a dead end, right, and they saw what seemed to be like a big, 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 oddly shaped rock, or boulder if you want to call it, and it was blocking a pathway that could let them continue, but this boulder was blocking the path. Now, he wasn't sure if it was shaped as an axe, but he just said it was shaped odd. Joe decided to be cocky and try to move it himself since it was at an angle. So, he, you know, with the right leverage, he could knock it down and continue. They all had flashlights. It was extremely dark down there. So, Joe proceeds to go do it himself because, you know, he's a jack of all trades and he can do anything. He says that as he proceeded to go move this boulder, he heard a voice. A male, very deep voice talking and laughing Joe turned around and said you know who said that your friends looked at him all weird you know we didn't say anything he continued and you know said you know stop fucking around he continued heard the voice again somebody talking to him they were all alone he turned around again this time got angrier you know, just the fuck up. They sweared. They weren't saying anything. He continued. As they were, as the friends were watching him trying to push this boulder out of the way, he kept arguing with himself and getting angry and getting really nervous as if somebody was talking to him, but it was very silent and nobody was talking to him at all. All of a sudden, Joe stopped and fell to the ground and started, you know, moving erratically, right? They all came to his aid and watched that his eyes had 
fully dilated and they were black. Like some shit you would see out of a scary movie. And he completely froze stiff. Joe's not a schizo. Joe doesn't have any, you know, any psychological conditions or, or any anything like, um, damn, I forgot what the disorder is called. Epilepsy. He's not an epileptic. He doesn't have epilepsy, any form of it. He was still shaking. They couldn't wake him up. So they had to literally carry him on their shoulder. One of them had to carry him on their shoulder and they dragged him out of the tunnels until they got out. He didn't wake up for a whole half an hour. His eyes finally went back to normal. When they asked him what happened, he could just say that this voice, this dark voice, deep, deep voice, was just taunting him and taunting him. And he felt some huge fear and pain in him and all of a sudden he just blacked out and he does not remember but he said every time that he went to touch that rock he started hearing the voice he has not been so brave ever since hasn't gone back either